We will be placing an array of battens between two points in this video. The type of the battens can be changed from circular to semicircular in plan. The material, height spacings between the battens and the radii of the battens can also be changed. Create a new file metric generic model adaptive. At the reference level place two points and make them adaptive. Join the points with a spline and make it a reference line by checking the box is reference line. At the midpoint place a point. Set a horizontal plane at the point. Place a circle at this plane and make it reference and create a new radius parameter rad. Place a semicircle at the same plane and same point and align its endpoints with the line and lock. Assign the same radius parameter rad to the semicircle. Join the endpoints with a line and hold the semicircle and the line and checkbox is reference line and create a form. Assign the positive offset parameter to the form. Create a visibility parameter to the form. Create the form from the circle and assign the same positive offset and a new visibility parameter to it.
assign a material parameter to both the forms. To check if the visibility parameters are working turn on the visibility preview. Make sure all the parameters are instance parameters and not type parameters. Check both boxes always vertical and shared. At the reference level place two points and make them adaptive. Join the points with a spline and make it a reference line by checking the box is reference line. Hold the line and divide path. And from the layout dropdown select the maximum distance. Create a new parameter for the maximum distance d. Go back to the first file and load it into this file and place the component at the two points on the line. Hold the component and create the associate parameters for material radius and visibility. Create a new parameter for the spacing between the battens. Write d equals 2 multiplied by radius plus spacing. Create two new family types for visibility of two types of battens that is circular and semicircular. Assign different values to the family types as required. Hold the component and press repeat. Create a project file and load the second family into this file. Place the second family at two points.
Change some of them for the second type. Apply different materials for the different family types. Change the radii or spacings or height as required. An overlapping of the battens can occur sometimes when maximum distance is used for the divided line. This happens because the number of battens is calculated by dividing the distance between the endpoints by the spacing plus one. So it is better to use minimum distance because then the number of battens will be total distance divided by spacing. Go back to the second family and filter out the divided line and select the minimum distance from the drop down. Load back into the project file. To remove the node points select the family and filter out the divided path and from the menu for path representation turn off nodes and load back into the project. Please like, share and Subscribe.